Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back, right? So you guys get two videos today, Thursday. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm probably not going to do a video tomorrow for Friday. So I wanted to uh, share this pretty cool um, thing that I did last night. It was actually pretty cool. Really, really cool. Um, and you know what? Like When it comes to rejuvenating old tech and giving it new life or just extending its life beyond uh, what it's supposed to have been, is, um, excuse me, it's probably one of the the best things that I like to do. Uh, for a long time, when it comes, you know, between Apple versus Android, one of the arguments that, you know, um, uh, Apple supporters basically always toss at, at Android supporters is that Apple devices are maintained and kept alive for a lot longer than just one or two um, OS updates, right? So we know this, right? The iPhone 6S still being supported today the iPhone 7 still being supported today, all the way up to the iPhone 11s, which just came out last year, September. Um, so, yeah, we, we know this. Rub it in our faces, Apples. Rub it in our faces. But, you know what? Um, while Apple does control the aspect of what devices will remain to be supported by them, um, yes, we have the Pixels, which, you know, is hopefully going to get, the, you know, similar treatments in the future, like what Apple does with its hardware. Google should be trying to be on that level. I'm just saying, Google, don't, yeah, this, I mean, I appreciate what you're giving us now with Pixels, but make it last longer than that. Make it, give us more life in our Pixels, honestly. Um, but anyways, guys, what I'm talking about is, is my Nexus 7 2013 tablet. This device got Android 10. Now, this is not an official update. Don't go into, you know, pull, don't blow the dust off your, your Nexus 7 2013 tablet and start hitting, you know, um, system update and then getting upset because there's not a system update waiting for it. Um, I actually rooted my um, Nexus 7 2013. I actually have uh, Twerp Recovery installed. And um, yeah, so my Nexus 7 has been modified. Um, and you guys will see some past videos that I've shared on here that I've, you know, gotten this. Um, my uh, Nexus 7 to Android 9. My Nexus 5X is on Android 10 currently right now. And um, yeah, so I've been waiting for this for a little bit of time. And it's good to see the guys with the um, ROM development known as Pixel Experience. Big thumbs up to you guys that you guys are still supporting the Nexus 7 tablet. I think it's actually pretty cool. Really cool. Um, let me go ahead and unlock it here. Sometimes I forget the Nexus 7s don't have biometric fingerprint reader so I'm always like going like this and uh, yeah because you know the uh, pixel but anyways guys um, so you can see model and hardware uh, all that goody 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 stuff right there model number well model is the Nexus 7 2013 and you see Android 10 right so I'll tap on Android 10 we'll bring it up where you can see it has the January 1st 2020 security patch Android 10 and it is Android 10 so we'll just kind of bring that up and boom, there it is, Android 10. But also, you guys can tell too, because, you know, gestures, like if I was to go, um, let's go back in here, if I wanted to, I could drag back and do the swipe gestures for back. So yes, full-fledged Android 10. Um, so far, it's been pretty solid, okay? There is but one thing that I noticed that's actually wrong. You guys will notice here, I have Dolphin Browser as my uh, internet browser. And um, no, I'm not trying to say anything. <laughs> Google Assistant activated. Um, and that's just because Chrome browser for some reason does not work on here. Uh, I've uninstalled it, reinstalled it. I've done everything you can possibly imagine to try to get Google Chrome to work. I've tried um, editing it uh, with um, a root browser file to try and push it as a system app rather than a, um, a downloaded app. And even that won't, won't launch it. As soon as you open Chrome, it just crashes. It's just a constant crash. So, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I went ahead and just downloaded Dolphin Browser. Dolphin Browser works just fine. Um, and, you know, I can watch videos on it if I want to. But I also have the YouTube app and I have my movie apps on here, games and stuff that I play. That's what I use my tablets for. And as an e-reader, so I have, you know, news feeds and stuff like that. I don't do a whole lot like social media on it. Um, those apps are already currently on my phones. I don't need another device to have those social media apps on it. So anyways, guys, yeah, I have um, Android 10 on my Nexus 7 2013. And that's like the coolest thing is that you can keep your devices up to date. And you can do that with, you know, a lot of um, 
Android devices, as long as they have an unlocked bootloader for you to apply a custom recovery, that way you can install a custom ROM and you know you can um, flash root onto your device, then you'll be able to do things like this. The only way you can really tell is to go through um, XDA and see if they have a development team that has a thread going for your particular device. Um, I can tell you guys right now, it's gonna be pretty hard to do it with um, certain Samsung devices. Um, and uh, some Verizon devices are going to be really hard as Verizon always requires the bootloaders to be unlocked by the OEM. So like if you have like a Pixel from Verizon, there's no way you're getting that bootloader unlocked. So just kind of, you know, I would say sell it for or trade somebody for it for an unlocked version. And then that way, you know, you can, you know, unlock the bootloader and then put on a custom recovery, which is the quintessential key of flashing a ROM. Because you can install a custom ROM without having to actually root the device. You don't need to flash root. Um, right now, I don't have Magisk flashed on this. I don't need it. Um, I'm not doing anything that I need to hide root from. I just use it as an e-reader and, uh, you know, like I said, for just those types of things, right? So I don't really need root. And, and you know, I'm not worried about anything looking for root. Um, but yeah, so you can always keep your Android devices up to date if you really, really like them. The only caveat to Android devices or just devices in general is, um, the type of connection they will have with the carrier as older devices don't necessarily have, um, the support for like newer LTE bands that come out. That's something you want to keep in mind. Uh, but you can keep your devices up to date. Like a tablet like this, I don't mind. It does not connect to LTE. This is not the LTE version. So it's always connected to Wi-Fi. And of course my um, mobile hotspot on my visible device. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know by smashing that like button. If you just found my channel and subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. Really appreciate that. You can hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video. And that's it for right now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, Aloha. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket.